Hello there, fellow RC pilots. How are y'all doing? Lately, I've been thinking about trying to fly with a joystick and with a throttle from a flight simulator. But I have no idea how those electronics would get connected and everything. So, I kind of threw that idea away. But now, I've started flying FPV and that's really awesome. But what would be even cooler is flying FPV with the joystick and the throttle. So what I got here now is I got an old joystick that I don't need anymore. And here's an old school throttle that I'm not using anymore. So somehow I really got to connect these three things in a mechanical way. And I've had a couple of ideas. So what I've been thinking was, I need to have a little desk of sorts, no? So I got this cool material here. It's kind of like cardboard, but it's made of plastic. You can see that it's like honeycomb style, but not really honeycomb, but... So I'm thinking I could probably attach those components here. I gotta fly like this. That's the idea. So on paper, the idea is we have the throttle over here. We got the throttle here. We got the aircraft's transmitter is here. And we got the joystick over here like this. So first I thought maybe some mechano parts for you all uh, older generation out there mechano might be uh, known. It's the basically like Lego Technics but it's made of metal and with little screws and stuff. So first I thought of that but I can't find any so I figured well what if we use some metal rods like this so what I'm going to try to do is somehow bend them around the remote like that and have them hooked up to the throttle as well as then hooked up to the joystick. That's the general idea. So I would be drilling a hole through here, going through there, maybe two holes. Or dr drilling through up here, then bending it and coming out, going around this way, and that would then attach somehow like this to the remote, so that when I go forward, the throttle goes forward as of the airplane as well. The throttle of the remote control goes forward, and same thing when I go back. Same principle with the joystick over here. Yes, and since today is a rainy day and it's ugly weather outside, can't go flying anyhow, I am going to start building my control tablet for my RC airplane. Imagine the cool feeling when you're flying FPV you got the glasses on, joystick in one hand, throttle in the other, and flying like this. God, I hope this is going to work. All right, let's get to building. First things I got to do, I got to cut out the holes where I'm going to be putting the control components because I'm going to make them high like this here so that uh, they'll be sunk into four or five other layers in the end this is going to be six centimeters thick so that I can really stick these in and I'll glue them in too so that they hold in the, so that they don't move around so I will start to get to cutting So, 
This hole should accommodate. Yes. Perfect. Wonderful. That'll work wonderfully. All right. Hole number two. Yep. That'll work. I have to be able to take the remote control away so I can fly in a normal way as well. If I don't want to fly with a joystick or if I'm going to fly somewhere where it's annoying to carry the whole control tablet with me. All right. Last hole. So, joystick, transmitter, and throttle. It should be all lined up so that I can just drill the holes and then I can steer everything like this. I hope so. Would be base. So this looks like this now. Huh. So, thrust, throttle, remote control, and joystick. Alright, so, this is what I have so far. I've cut out all the layers, cut out the holes for the components, and I've also drilled holes to install the control wires, control bars, whatever. And then the idea, the general idea is that when I want to fly with a throttle, for example, throttle forward, and there goes the throttle. Same, th same principle here the joystick I just gotta adjust it make it nice and straight it'll be awesome if it works I think think it'll work cool so time to take a break so I've been building some more I've I hit one or two snags let me show you here now the problem I had before was when I was steering front forwards and backwards isn't a problem left and right as you can see, when I push it to the side and to the other side, this bar went goes down and up, and I wasn't sure how I'm going to attach it. I found this. I figured out the solution that it might work with this wooden bar here, and I screwed one of these and bent it a bit so it was a little bit smaller, so it doesn't have too much too much play in it. The throttle at the moment works halfway well this is going to be fairly easy to get to work what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wait no this one this bar here I've drilled a hole in the throttle here I have to make it a little bit shorter this bar here but I'm gonna glue it in here making the whole thing stiffer so that afterwards when I steer it's no problem you see that? You see that? Oh yeah, throttle's working, baby. Oh, this is going to be so cool. And yeah, so next step will be finalize this part here. Hook this up, glue that on. And then I am screwing all of these layers together with a bolt here. And then, and then I have to see what else I got to do. Then I think I'm going to do a functions test. Because it looks like I might be able to finish this today. Man, if this works, it will be so awesome. With the FPV glasses, wow. All right, I want to finish this now. All right, folks. Check it out. I think I've got it. It works. And here, I'll show you really quick. All right, so remote. We slide the remote in here. Wait, move that up.
and the remote is in place. All right, so with the remote in place, now what I've done here is this is actually a pencil. Uh, I cut it, and where the eraser uh, is attached, I pulled out the eraser and I attached one of these tips from the remotes. I'm hoping you guys can see this. And I attached it to the pencil, and now for the joystick, I screw that in like this. Hope you guys can see it. And adjust the angle. Now, what I had to do is I had to attach a little stick in here so that I had a slightly more control because the problem I have here with the joystick now is uh, when I go over this way it goes a lot further than when I go over to the right and so I hooked up, I taped on this little stick to be able to have a little bit more authority then throttle hooking up the throttle Let's put it to center slip that over there and then screw on <coughs> the tip of the remote uh, of the of the joystick all right and so now throttle and joystick now what I had to do with the throttle as well because the throttle movement was a lot more than on the joystick of the transmitter I screwed in two screws here, one here and one on the other side here to uh, stop the throttle from going any further than the throttle from the transmitter alright so seems to be working alright so now time to hook up the airplane and test this baby uh, this is gonna be cool do the first test of the command panel throttle joystick hooked up to the transmitter mechanically uh, no electronics no cables nothing uh, I'll hand over the camera to my wonderful wife now so that she can film the whole scenery so this is how it works we have the command panel here the aircraft obviously and so we need power on the transmitter throttle alarm okay the ailerons yes Elevator in the back. Yes. Flying in a circle. Yes. Works. All right. Throttle. Oh, this feels cool. Throttling up now. Yes. Yes. It works. It really works. It actually works. Awesome.